Hey everybody, I've got more great news. You know how I said before it's rare to get Amazon Flex orders? Well, I got one from Whole Foods Market. And in today's video, I'm going to share five things with you about this order for your consideration to see if this is something that you want to do as well. You do. All right, let's get started. My name is Russ, and I'm so happy that you're here. I got an Amazon Flex Whole Foods Market order, and this is rare. It's been several months. So the first area that you need to be aware of, when you go in the store, you will scan all the bags. And keep in mind, this isn't as hard as it looks. They're going to give you directions in the app of what location it's in, and then you just go up to that freezer, chiller, or the shelf and scan it. Wave. You're going to notice a code name on there. So in the car, you want to group all those bags by that name. Don't be afraid. You're going to take several trips with your cart. So fill the cart a little bit and then go out to your car, place some in the order by the code name, and then go back in the store and get more. Eventually, your car is pretty much going to be full, depending on the order. Second, if you get a collapsible wagon like I have, you are going to be so happy because you know what? Houses are easy. You can carry everything up there and set at the door. Apartments and condos, not so much. They're hard to get to. In this video clip, you're going to see how I use the wagon smoothly all the way around the side of the building and then up to the door. But right near the threshold, there were stairs. But you know what? It was only a few feet and I carried the groceries up there. It wasn't that big a deal. But on this next one, this was the last drop off. Yeah, this was not fun. I had to take my bag first that I stuffed a bunch of bags in there, carried it up the stairs, and then I came back and I got that collapsible wagon also full with other bags and I carried it upstairs. So enjoy this little clip of that.
So what do you think of that? You're going to be pretty tired as well. But what's worse, carrying one cart up or doing multiple trips and then having to shuttle them all down? I would say using the collapsible cart is much easier. So you should get one of those as well. And you can look at my previous videos. I found one on Amazon and I gave a little bit of a review so you could see what it's like. So check that out. Number three, you are most likely going to get paid to go see beautiful areas. Now, of course, depending on your market, this Whole Foods order ended up taking me out into the mountains and along the ocean. So it was nice, instead of just being in a big hurry to get to my next order and make more money, to actually look around and enjoy the drive. I was getting paid to see beautiful areas, and maybe this can apply to you as well. As you can see, as I was leaving this house, going down that long driveway, you can see the beautiful valley in the distance. How awesome. And next, as I'm rounding the corner, ready to do another drop off, these homes were right there by the ocean. And it was so nice that I got to see that for a little bit and get paid to be there. The fourth thing that happened to me on this trip, <laughs> I should have known better, I got trapped. So I came up to the gate, there was no gate code, and I thought, all right, well, I'll try to get a hold of the customer. And in the meantime, I had set the bags by there and I was gonna just leave them there. But then I realized, hey, I can't drop them off because I'm not near the drop off location. So thankfully the customer did answer and she gave me the code, I came in, but I was walking. I left my car behind because I thought, ah, it's just down the hill. Well, wouldn't you know, I got trapped in there and I had to, after finishing the order, go back and knock on the door and say, please let me out. <laughs> so, you know, worst case, I could have uh, hopped the gate if it came to that, but I should have just driven down there to begin with. So let this be a lesson to you as well. Just be careful. You know, I know in food delivery, I usually don't go in people's driveways because they may not like that. But in this case, in a gated area and it was down the hill, you probably should just drive, and I should have as well. The fifth area, and the most important, I would say, because it deals with money. This was a total of six stops, and it took me two and a half hours to do it all. And I made $91, including tips, so that's really great. 91 divided by two and a half, that works out to $36 an hour. Now, of course, that's before expenses, but that's good money. And next, dollars to miles. That does matter. On this trip, I did drive a total of 73 miles. So 91 divided by 73 works out to $1.25 per mile. Now, obviously this isn't great, but keep in mind it has been slow. And I wouldn't turn down these orders in the future. And actually, you shouldn't either. It's always worth your time doing Amazon Flex. In this case, $1.25 per mile was sufficient because who knows, maybe I wouldn't have made $91. So yes, I drove 73 miles, but at $1.25 per mile, that's good. My minimum that I say is a minimum is a dollar per mile. Once you start getting below that, then you're really driving your car on the ground and not getting paid for its full value and for your time. So that's something to consider. So the final recommendation, was this worth it? Absolutely, of course it was worth it. $36 an hour is great. And yeah, there were more miles than normal, especially on previous Amazon Fresh orders that I've done, but it's slow and you know what? I don't wanna wait around hoping for money. If that order comes up again, I would take it. So consider that for yourself as well. If you can get any of these Amazon Flex, either Whole Foods or Amazon Fresh deliveries, take them. You'll be so happy you did. My name is Russ and I'm glad you found my channel. Up here, I'm gonna link a video and this is dealing with multi-apping, but I also talk about Amazon Flex in here and this was an Amazon Fresh delivery. So you can watch that next and see the difference between this Whole Foods and that Amazon Fresh order. All right, everybody, don't forget to like the video, like the channel, and I'll see you in my next one.